Hi guys, welcome to another episode. My name is Abe and today I'm going to show you guys how you can turn any video footage into a stop motion boomerang. Like this, into this. That's coming right up. Now this is huge for me because I'm able to go back into old footage, old clips that I think are sick, and repurpose them into stop motion boomerang, which is very relevant and very trendy on Instagrams. Anyway, let's jump right into Adobe Premiere and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So I have this clip, I've pulled it into Adobe Premiere and it's me jumping into a pool. And I kind of like that part, I kind of want to jump in and out of that pool on a boomerang. How do I turn this clip into it? First thing you're gonna want to do is hit C on your keyboard and or just click that razor tool. And for me, I'm gonna wanna go 10 frames to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I just hit my right arrow key 10 times. And I'm gonna make a cut right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And I'm gonna do that for my entire clip. You know what, I think that's good. I'm gonna delete the rest because I think this is, this is good enough for a boomerang right here. In and out. In fact, I think that's a really long boomerang. But that's the beauty of making your own boomerangs. You can make them as long as you like. This is pretty long. The next step is adding frame hold. You wanna add the frame hold. So I wanna highlight the clip, go to the first frame of that clip segment that I've created, go to clip, video options, add frame hold. Now I'm gonna wanna go to the next clip. Highlight it, go to the first frame, go to clip, video options, add frame hold. And I'm gonna wanna do this for every single one of these clips. What add frame hold does is it holds the first frame. Whatever your playhead is on, that frame will be held. And it looks like this now. Okay, the next thing you're gonna wanna do after you've chopped up your clip and added frame holds is hit Alt, hold Alt, click the end clip, and drag it next to it, okay? And then you're gonna wanna alt click the next clip and the next clip because we want the clip to be put in reverse as well. So it goes forward and now we want it to reverse, but to reverse, we're gonna have to do it this way. Alt, click, drag, do this with your whole clip, okay? And now, after you've done that, don't actually alt click hold the last clip. What I like to do here Actually, I'm going to delete all my sound. Forget about it. Don't worry about it. It's going to be complicated. Select the entire thing and alt click drag that. So now you've got two back and forth Z's. And it's going to look like this. And that's my boomerang. It's a little choppy. It's a little slow. So you can manipulate that and the smoothness with this last step. It is nesting your sequence. So I'm just gonna leave it at sequence two, bring in my first sequence, which is just the name of the clip, change sequence settings, click on it, hit command R, and now maybe I'll go 175, right? And now it'll look like this. And there you have it, folks. How to stop motion boomerang any video footage that you have to your liking, to your taste. If you like this video and you learned something, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and until next time, until next time.